Tuesday Facebook friends. Welcome to Crayola's Facebook page. I am Lynn Lilly from Craft Box Girls and it's Tuesday so that means we are doing fun crafts for the whole family. So if your kiddos are home with you, grab them. This is family friendly. You guys can all watch together and all craft together. So what we are making today is popsicle stick crafts. So have a popsicle party, or you can also use craft sticks. So you can buy giant boxes of these at the craft store as well. I always have a bunch of them on hand, or you can have a popsicle party with your family and then all make some crafts together. So this is the common supply that we're using today. And before we get started, I would love to know who's watching. So give me a shout in the comments. Tell me where you're watching from. I always like to see those and I'll be monitoring them over here. And before we get started, I hope everyone had a wonderful Mother's Day that celebrated. I had a great Mother's Day. My husband, who's behind the camera, definitely made me feel special with handmade gifts and fantastic meals. So shout out to him, and I hope all the other moms had a great Mother's Day. All right, so first up, we are going to make popsicle stick bracelets. So I've got one on. And you might be like, how the heck are we going to bend them like that? Well, I'm about to show you, but before we get started, I'm gonna refresh my screen over here to get our live up so that I can see you guys. So if you are just tuning in, give me a shout in the comments. Tell me where you're watching from. I always love to see who's all watching. All right, we've got Mia and Hannah from Norcross, Georgia. I'm in Atlanta, we love our Georgia girls. We've got Kim from Pennsylvania. We've got Olivia from San Antonio, Texas. We've got Don who says hello, and we've got Anne Maria from Naples, Florida. All right, guys, keep telling me where you're watching from. Let's get started. Okay, so step one, we're making these popsicle stick bracelets. You can use thick or thin popsicle sticks. These work good for the teeny tiny kiddos. These work good for adults or for the the, we'll call them the medium, the big kids, right? <laughs> so the kids that aren't the toddlers. Um, so what you need to do is take a handful of sticks. Now, you want to take twice as many as you plan on using. Because there is breakage, you don't always get the perfect bracelet form. So throw a few extras in the pot. So I've got a pot here. I went ahead and boiled. So you want to get it boiling, and you're going to boil your popsicle sticks for 30 minutes. Then you're gonna turn it off and you're gonna let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes without it being on. So during that period of time, it's going to cool. Then use a tong, and this is obviously the adult part, so parents, you gotta help. Um, take out your popsicle sticks, have a towel to just blot it off, but by this point, it's pretty cool to the touch. And as you'll see, it's bendy, right? So you wanna kinda start towards the end and you wanna take a mason jar and you're going to get this guy inside the lid of this mason jar or any other jar that you have will work. So you wanna kind of form him in here. And so as I'm bending it, some will break. That's normal, you can't help it. Um, so make sure you make extras to kind of account for the ones that will break. So you get it in this mason jar, or you could use the lid of the mason jar or any other kind of jar that you have. But keep in mind, you want it to be the size in which your bracelet is going to be. So for these teeny tiny guys, you're gonna need to use a smaller jar lid um, or opening of a jar. So now, you let it sit in here until it's completely dry. And then, you guys ready for it? Ta-da! You have a bracelet. So it forms into the shape that you molded it to into that jar. So it may take a couple hours to dry depending on where you live. So if you're in a more humid climate, it's gonna take longer, but you can just touch it and feel if it's dry. And if you do pull it out too early and it doesn't stay in this shape, just mold it back in to the jar until it's completely dry. All right, so now what do you do? This is the kid part. So adults, you help with the first part. Kid part, you decorate. So I'm gonna show you two different ways to decorate. So you can grab some paints. So I've got some washable and some acrylic paint here. You can use either one. The washable paint is just a little bit thinner so you'll be able to see through it. Um, and then the acrylic paint is a little bit darker. So you could have fun with this. The kids can go to town. You can also use markers as well. They will work on here. So really whatever you have. Um, but this is really fun. Who is gonna make these? Tell me in the comments. Um, are you guys gonna make these? And are you gonna have a popsicle party to get all of your popsicle sticks? So, have fun with this. Decorate it however you see fit. And then maybe you wanna do some polka dots. 
You can take the end, I always use the ends of my brushes to do my polka dots and just add some polka dots in there. It just makes a nice, easy polka dot. You can just dab it down and dab it up. So paint or marker will work to decorate. And then if you have some decorative paper, so I'm gonna set this guy aside over here to dry. If you have some decorative paper, you can also do some fun stuff with it. So you guys know, I love this Bright Pop pad. This literally is my go-to paper pad. I literally use this almost every live we have. So if you're gonna buy a paper, buy this because it's so versatile and I use it all the time. So if you're making my crafts, you want this. Um, but decorative paper, you can also use construction paper for this as well. So I took one of the pattern sheets and I cut out um, two strips from it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my glue and I'm going to just put some glue on the back of these strips and I'm just using my Crayola washable glue. You wanna use this versus um, a glue stick just because this is a little more heavy duty and you're gonna be putting this around your curved bracelet so you want it to stick pretty quickly. So get a decent amount of glue on there and it does dry clear so if you put too much on and it seeps out the side you can just wipe it away and it will dry clear so go ahead and put that around your bracelet and it's okay if it hangs over the edge because we are going to trim that in a second and i'm going to take my second one you can even leave it like that that's kind of cool um and i'm going to line these two up so you can do a combination of decorating with paper and markers or paint and then once you got it stuck just take your scissor and trim right around the edges. And you'll need to let this sit and dry just for a little bit before you wear it, but it's a pretty quick craft. So if you missed the first part of how I got these prepped to bend them, when this ends, you can always go back and rewind and fast forward. But that's your bracelet. Okay, so check out some of these other ones I have up here. So a couple other designs. Now, something else to think about, if you do it, and it turns out of more like a U, like this one did, you can always add some ribbon and tie it. So that becomes a tied bracelet. So another fun little effect that you can do it, or if it's too big, add that ribbon and you can tie it, and then it becomes a bracelet that's adjustable to fit whoever is wearing it, whatever size you need. All right, do you guys like that one? I thought that one was super cool. Um, tell me in the comments if you like it. I always love your feedback. Give me a heart, give me a thumbs up, and if you're just tuning in, give me a shout and tell me where you're watching from. And we're doing all popsicle stick crafts today. So we just finished our first one, which was our bracelet. And I'm gonna give some shout outs really quick. So we've got a DT tuning in from North Carolina. Um, okay, so Jordy asked, how do we heat it up? So it was 30 minutes, we boiled our popsicle sticks and then we turned the water off and let it cool for about 20 to 25. And then it was ready to bend and we put it inside our jar. So if you did miss it, I went through it a little bit slower. You can always fast forward and rewind when we get back. Um, Dawn says that's so cool. Um, thanks for the compliment on my shirt, Millie. Um, we've got Jessica. Yes, you can do small popsicle sticks as well. Um, we've got Cindy who says Riley Beth says that's cool. All right, and we've got, let's see, Jerry asked if a crock pot would work. Yes, you could use a crock pot as long as you can heat that water up really, really hot. And we've got Marlene tuning in from Ohio and Amy from Canton, Georgia. All right, keep giving me the shouts and tell me where you're watching from. Craft number two. Again, I'm using my thicker popsicle sticks. You can use smaller ones as well. Um, you would just need to use more of the smaller ones. I had a ton of these thicker ones because I bought a big box of them a while ago. Um, I use them for stirring paint and applying glue and other things like that. Okay, so you want to take eight popsicle sticks. So let's count them. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm using eight. You can adjust this based on how big or small you want this to be, but I chose eight because it is almost the perfect length of a popsicle stick. So we're going to lay those out like that. I'm going to take some glue. And I'm gonna put a stripe of glue here. And this is gonna, I'm not gonna tell you what this is until we get close to finishing it. Cause I feel like this one was a cool one too, especially if you are looking for family crafts or gifts, if someone's birthday is coming up, this is fun. All right, and we're gonna put the glue right across this one as well. Oops, my bracelet keeps falling off. Um, we're gonna put that one right there, just like that. And just make sure that your popsicle sticks on the bottom are pretty close together, okay. You wanna let it set for a few more minutes, but I wanted to just kind of show you how it easily glues them all together. Now I've got one that is dry, so we can start crafting with it. 
Now, here's the fun part. You can decorate this however you want. Let your kids go to town. We've got some paint. Um, you can also use markers. You can also use con um, construction paper, whatever you have, but have some fun decorating it. So maybe I wanna paint part of it blue and you can either follow the lines of your popsicle sticks or you can just kind of go rogue and paint whatever designs you have. Um, if you guys are looking for more inspiration and ideas, I highly recommend you check out Crayola.com um, slash crafts. There's a ton of different tutorials there for all ages, even adults. So check that out if you're looking for some crafts to keep busy this week. Um, so I don't know, I'm gonna kind of alternate and I'll show you that is acrylic paint. This is my washable paint. So you can kind of see the difference in the two. It just really depends on the look you're getting. Um, you can do a couple more coats if you want to get a um, less kind of see-through look with your washable paint. But um, you may like this look, and I kind of do. So I'll show you a finished one that I did in all the washable paint, and I love how it turned out. Okay, so we paint and we paint and we paint and we paint, and we get to the end. So let's pretend this whole thing is painted. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a clothespin. So really any size clothespin will work. If you've got a smaller one, it may work better. If you've got a larger one, you're just gonna put it a little bit further up. So we're gonna put some glue on the back of our clothespin. And this now becomes a mini clipboard that is also a picture frame. So check it out. So I've got two done over here. So check this guy out. Um, you can also put magnets on the back of here and put it on your refrigerator. So I took a picture and just put a piece of my decorative paper for my Crayola Bright Pop pad. I told you guys I use that pad all the time. Um, and just added that on and it becomes a picture holder. So this could also be something you put on the refrigerator. Maybe you put your grocery list or your to-do list on it. So that one's painted. Check out this one that I have here. And you'll notice these are all pictures of me and Lily in the craft room. She comes down every Tuesday after these lives and raids my crafts and picks out crafts. And then she always ends up doing one while she's down here. So we take a lot of pictures. But so for this guy, what I did was I took pieces of my paper. So this paper that came in the Bright Pop pad and cut out the different strips from it and just glued those on. So those are the same that I just used in the bracelet a second ago as well. So you can have some fun with how you decorate it but an easy craft to do guys. And that's a cute gift to give to adults or to kids, grandparents. I don't know, I think it's a cute gift. I would like to get one. Um, are you guys loving it? Did you guys like that one? You gotta tell me which one's your favorite when we get done. I'm gonna give some shout outs before we go to our very last one. Okay, so Katie asked, how's the picture standing up? I just have it leaning against something. You can put a picture back on here if you want with a piece of cardstock or construction paper or you can also put a magnet on the back of it and stick it on your refrigerator. So either way, you can kind of decide how you want to display it. All right, we've got Alma who says pretty colors. We've also got Tawana who's tuning, or Twandra who's tuning in from Washington State. We've got Kimberly from Vegas. We've got Carrie who says she's gonna do this with her little girl. Oh, I love that. Um, we've got Kim who says hi from Indiana. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, we've got Jamie, who's also tuning in from Colorado. We've got um, Heidi, who says hello. All right, guys, keep telling me where you're watching from. Um, and if you have friends that are looking for things to do with their kiddos, tag them below or share this to your page. It's always nice to share craft ideas with your friends. Okay, so now this one is super easy. Maybe you're gonna have a fun party at home with your family. Um, looking for something to get in the mood for summer. Well, we're gonna make a popsicle banner and then I'm gonna show you one other thing that you can do with it. So what you wanna do is take two different types of paper. So whether you've got the decorative paper like I'm using, I keep, like I told you guys, I'm obsessed with this, this paper pad. I absolutely love it. Um, any decorative paper can work, construction paper. If you've just got construction paper, just do two different colors. So it's alternating. So we just cut out a popsicle shape. Super simple, right? Then we're gonna take our scissor and I'm going to wipe my glue off my scissor. It's like that, okay? And then I'm gonna make what is going to be drips of a popsicle. So I'm freehanding this. You could um, draw this out and cut it if you want, but I'm just gonna make 
some large kind of U-ish drips and I'm going to alternate the heights of them um, from medium to small to large and I'm going to go right back up here and stop. Okay, so now you have two pieces. Now these two pieces are going to go on two of our opposing, whether you're using colors or you're using um, decorative paper. So one's going to go on the bottom. And then this one is gonna go on the top and we're gonna alternate these pieces. So we can use glue um, or you can also use glue stick. Whatever you have will work. If you're using this glue, just make sure that you go light on it um, so that it doesn't squeeze out when you stick it down. So we're gonna put that right there and then we're also going to do the top of this one. And so you can do different colors, but I like the alternating of these. If you wanna just do the bottom one, you can, um, but I didn't want to waste anything, so I thought it was fun to kind of alternate the top and the bottom. And then you want to take a popsicle stick. You can either use your small, um, thin popsicle sticks or the big ones. Whatever you have will work. Um, or even if you've got some, I know some popsicles have some funky shaped popsicle sticks. You can use those as well. And we're gluing that right on the back. So I'm going to do this on both of them. And then however long you want your banner to be, just make that many popsicles. So you can make as many as you want. And then what you're going to do is leave it upside down, lay out your popsicles, and you want to glue your yarn to the back. So make sure you glue your yarn about a half an inch down from where your popsicle stick is. That'll help it kind of stay upright when you're hanging it. So you do as many as you want your popsicle stick banner to be. So if you want it to be real long, you gotta make a bunch. But check out how cute this is. So you guys can hang this, whether you put it on a fireplace, you do it for a birthday party. It's lots of fun and you can pick the colors to match whatever theme. Maybe it's gonna be something for an upcoming patriotic holiday. Um, okay, so one other fun thing you can do. Same technique, same shape, okay? So what you wanna do is instead Instead of gluing your popsicle stick to the back, you want to take another piece of this and you want to glue it to the back of here. So get rid of your yarn. Your popsicle stick is not on yet. So we'll just take that off. You glue it around the edges so that you have a pocket, okay? And then take your popsicle stick, cut out a small little piece of paper and write a fun little message for your family. And then in your pocket, so you can put this back in and then and you could do this as a banner as well so you could make this part of the banner but then you pull it out and you've got a fun little message so this can be really fun for the kids maybe every day for a week they get a fun little popsicle stick message so two different ways that you can use this craft all right guys did you like it i don't know about you but those are fun i like how simple they are but they're still fun and if you want to get a little bit more into it spend a little more time the bracelets are for you all right, I am going to do some more shout outs and then we'll recap. All right, so Heather says the popsicle would be cute as a handmade card. Absolutely, it could also be cute as an invitation for something. Um, we've got Edie who's watching from Oberlin. We've got Marilyn from, um, Box oh, Marilyn Bosselman is watching. We've got Tammy who says she can't wait to do this with her grands. We've got Jessica Hood who said she's going to make both crafts with her girls. Awesome. Don't forget to share them with us, guys. So if you do make these crafts, use the hashtag Crayola Crafts. I love to see what you make. Tag me, tag Crayola. I get so excited when I get a DM or a tag from you guys and you guys have made a craft. It makes my day. Um, and we've got Tia from South Carolina. We've got Fabi from Texas. And we've got Mary from Iowa. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. So as a recap, today was all about popsicle sticks. So to start, we made these popsicle stick bracelets that I have here. Um, and if you did miss that, there's a little bit of technicalness that goes with, that's not even a word, technicalness. We'll figure out what the right word is. My husband's laughing at me. Um, I make up words when I craft. It's like my crafting dictionary of words. Um, but you can always go back and rewatch um, right after we end in just a minute and you can see the instructions for how to boil those and turn them into the shape of a bracelet. Next, we made our fun little popsicle stick um, clipboard photos. So those are really fun. You can put them on the fridge. You can stand them up, give them as a gift. And then we finished by making our popsicle stick banner that can also be a fun little message for your kids or it can be a handmade card or an invitation. So something really fun. Um, did you guys like it? Please tell me. I love to know.
know when you like it, your feedback means the world to me. Give me a heart, give me a thumbs up, and feel free to share this with your friends. All right, so I will be back next Tuesday right here at 1 p.m. Eastern, and we are going to celebrate Memorial Day with activities and crafts that you can do with your family to celebrate at home. All right, that's all I've got. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and don't forget, for more crafts, check out Crayola.com slash crafts. Be kind, inspire someone, and I will see you right here next Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Bye, guys.